Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to decrease latency slash input lag and increase FPS up to three times part two. In the first part I mentioned things like overclocking your CPU, NVIDIA GeForce experience, there's an update, I'm gonna show an update thing for that as well, um, MSI Afterburner and EXM tweaking utility. In this one I'll show you optimal Windows settings that are pointless settings and you can just turn them off. Uh, and I know it looks like I'm getting low FPS, but to record I have to use a lower um, stretch resolution And I'll also show you how to get stretch resolution in this video If you want to, which can increase your FPS to like 15% to 20%-ish, something like that uh, Let's get into it So, the first thing you want to do is open your settings Head on over to gaming Game bar I know it may seem nice that like you can record and stuff, but just like use OBS or something. Game bar like it drops your FPS quite a lot, and if you accidentally open it, it can kind of screw you over. So turn that off. I mean, if you really want to use it, keep it on. Captures. Have have this one off, right? Background recording so it doesn't record midway through. Record audio. Leave that on because in some things it might turn your audio off. But this, it uses lots of FPS, and sometimes it can record in the background when you don't want it to, and it can be annoying. Then game mode. Have game mode on. Go on to graphic settings. Make sure you have this off, actually. Not on. It may seem fancy, like performance and extra latency reducing, but it actually does quite the opposite. And then here, on choose an app to set preference to. Desktop. Browse. Um, go on to Fortnite game binaries Win64. Win64 shipping. Add it, right? Find it. Click on it. Options. High performance and choose your graphics card save then exit out that's the first tip next thing just like i showed last time on epic games launch i go into library find fortnite click the three dots verify the files oh my god i have 800 hours um go on to manage uh verify right um this three dots again um then go on to options here save the world leave it on if you play it Higher resolution textures, no, that reduces your FPS a bit. This reduces your FPS, especially if you don't even use DirectX 12. And pre-download stream assets. I forgot to mention this one last time. What this does is use your internet to download skins of enemies, right? And it gives you so much, like, ping and delay and stuff. It's ridiculous. So uncheck this as well. And just have what you need. Like, obviously, if you have a language or something, leave it on. But, yes, that's it. Just then apply, obviously let it do its stuff and yep yeah. so next thing you want to do is go onto nvidia control panel right <coughs> here i'll show you how to get stretch res so change resolution yeah yeah so basically the first thing you want to do is where this one? um adjust desktop size and positioning right full screen select that if you want to use stretch res and here on perform scaling on Make sure it's on GPU. If it's not on GPU, it can give you like a 50 FPS less boost. Uh, over IDS, choose your highest refresh rate, full screen, and then go on to change resolution, customize, tick this, create custom resolution, input whatever resolution you want. You can just go find a YouTube video. I use either 1720 by 1080 or 1600 by 1050. Those are the best in my opinion. And yep, and manage GPU performance counters. So even have this on your NVIDIA control panel, you need to go on to um, edit, I think, or something. Uh, it's, it's one of these at the top, and you then apply it, and then you can put this on. And then allow access to GPU performance counters to all users, and that gives like another 20 AFPS boost. Then also in your settings, go on to system, display, um, advanced display settings, and choose your highest refresh rate number. For me, it's 165 hertz. Um, and then you could also, like, I don't know, this stuff, like, just leave it normal. It's, it's your settings, do whatever. And make sure, if this is orange, update your windows. You need to update your windows. The next step to improve your um, FPS and reduce some latency is go back into your settings. Go onto privacy. And then here, general. Have, like, most of these off. If, read them around check what they are but turn majority of these off they like 
take 5 FPS per setting and give you quite a lot of delay. So this off, 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 speech, off, why do you even need speech, inking and stuff, off, diagnostics, record diagnostics data, send only info, have that as that. Um, these off, activity history, have that off, location, you can have it on or off depending if you want it. Um, camera you can have it on or off then microphone obviously have it on and etc just turn all of these off that you want and just read through to find what you want to turn off another thing to improve your fortnite fps like here i have uh, a lot i have it on um unlimited for this i did a way to do it in the files but basically um you go into your settings right um, I have 17, 20 obviously right now with stretch res. V-Sync is whatever. Um, have your frame rate limited at times because having it on unlimited can be bad. 3D resolution. Put this from anywhere to like 75 to 100. I like having it on 95. This kind of gives you like small potato graphics. And then the most important setting is report performance stats disabled. This is bad. It gives you like 100 less FPS and lots of delay. And then here, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the game, right? Um, enable idle energy saving front end off. Interactive window energy saving off. These will give you a decent decrease of FPS because it's meant to save power. But if you want the optimal gaming performance, turn them off. The next thing is home. This is also a tweaking utility, just like EXM. This one, you have a limit of 10, right? But, um, EXM does a few of these, but on home, the best things you can have is general Windows optimizations on, optimized message signal interruptions on this, the uh, the leases, uh, the crease your delay, optimized Windows power plan, the EXM one is so much better. Disable Windows power throttling, EXM might do this, I'm pretty sure it does, but also have it off, that, that basically makes it so that Windows doesn't like hold back your power because it likes to do that. Um, remove network bandwidth limits. This like holds back and bottlenecks your internet and it can give you better uh, Wi Fi and delay. Optimize mouse. This is so your mouse has less delay and it detects it faster. Enable home gaming mode. This enables a few things. Gaming optimizations, obviously, yeah. Um, optimize Nash network settings this also the increases the delay optimize nvidia control panel settings these are better than the exm ones that give you way more fps and general nvidia optimizations these are also good have that on this in total will give you like i don't know maybe like 20 to 50 fps and also here on boost up you can clear your temporary files and stuff don't do the discord though because it makes you log back in and stuff and it's kind of bad so please don't do that but yeah in general this also can boost your fps quite a lot Right guys, so that is my guide on how to get more FPS and less delay. I know I may not I'm getting a lot right now because I'm recording and I have my second monitor on, which is like literally killing my FPS and delay when I'm recording. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy your guys' days. Um, have a wonderful day and everything. If you want another part, I'll try and make one and add even more tweaks and stuff. And yeah, I'll just tell you guys how to be better. And I can also make some gameplay videos if you would like that. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.